it's so important to cultivate financial literacy and understanding different financial topics because I like to say at the end of the day, no one cares more about your money than you do. And financial freedom, which is one of the goals of financial literacy, being able to live your life on your own terms, that's how I define financial freedom, that's a journey of self-love and self-acceptance. And the more you understand how to make money work for you, the more you'll realize that it's really about understanding who you are, getting to know yourself, love yourself, and believing that whatever you truly desire is possible and you're deserving of it. And for me, that's what money um, is really the best teacher for, is getting in touch with yourself. And that's why it's so important to understand, to make a habit of making financial literacy a priority and doing the work necessary to, to create financial independence for yourself. As a young girl, I would say to, to get started on this path and learning is to find different outlets that you can read about money. And this can be a simple term that you learn every day. Think of learning, it's vocabulary, it's a language. Find different sites where you can learn a new term every single day. Maybe it's mortgage, maybe it's reverse mortgage, maybe it's 401k, maybe it's entrepreneur. Just figure, learn different words each and every day so you can start to speak the language and feel comfortable because that's where confidence comes in. If you know the language and you feel comfortable with using it, you will be incredible, you'll be so far ahead because you'll boost your confidence just by knowing the words associated with it. The second step after learning a new word every day is to practice saving. Perhaps you're getting an allowance from your parents. Perhaps you're working. I started working as a, I think my first job was when I was 11 as a babysitter. So whatever you're doing, it doesn't have to be a, a formal job or it could be babysitting. It could be a lemonade stand. Whatever it is, practice the art of saving, which is you earn some money and then you put some aside for later. Maybe you're gonna save up for a trip with your friends. The first thing I saved up for was a trampoline and it was $120, which was a lot of money to me back then. And I, I think it took a while to save up to that, but I had a goal that I was working towards. So practice the art of saving and, and that'll take you far um, in life especially learning how to delay gratification because once you hone that skill and that muscle, your, your world will be your oyster because you'll always be in a position where you can create what you want and live the life that you want. And then the third step is to practice being an entrepreneur as soon as possible. Being an entrepreneur can look like owning a business full time. It could also be something that you do on the side. Not everyone has to own a business as their main career, but learning how to create wealth on your own terms is so important. And thankfully you live in a time where you can start right now. You've got Instagram, you've got Snapchat, you've got TikTok, you've got the ability to make a website really easily, which I didn't have growing up. And with those tools, you can create a personal brand, which is putting your likeness out there, just like a celebrity that you follow. They've got a personal brand, you've got the skills to be a, a personal brand as well. So. Practice being an entrepreneur. Maybe you really love photography. Perhaps you really love writing. Perhaps you love painting. How can you create a small business around that and practice the art of entrepreneurship now?